Hag Brewing Company. It's their little fawn. It's a session IPA. Um, 4.2%. Don't know anything about it. Got it in a beer hall from lowcostbeer.com. We have got a massive amount of new stuff in. And uh, I'm hoping to get a, a beer hall off them soon before it all runs out. Lots of new stuff. And that's it. I've noticed with uh, low cost that you big citrus aromas. Yes, big citrus aromas. Slightly hazy pour. Is it bottle conditioned? Uh, golden pour. Absolutely freezing though it is. Um, Maybe a bottle conditioned, can conditioned. Is there such a thing? Big white head, golden colour, golden, clear and hazy in one. Different. Good, um, good fruitiness to it, good citrus fruitiness. Again, nice citrus taste, a little bit in the background. Definitely session sessionable. Yeah, it's definitely light. Li uh, feels light in what it is. I wouldn't say thin, but it's certainly light. Yeah, we are. It isn't hazy. It is a hazy pour. It's funny that it was clear and hazy in one. Ooh. Nice twang on the tongue. Only 4.2%, 4 so nothing too taxing, especially this time of night. Don't want to be getting any more red cards. Although to be fair, I've just done a, a, a Picardi and ready to drink review. And that was only, only, it only took three minutes. I'm sneaking the reviews in, you know, you do. Ducking and diving. Later on, I'm going to do a proper review. Um, put the gas fire on. Might even do a live review. Sod it, eh? Get, a, get something decent and do a live review. And I do mean decent, you know. That eight percent there sounds nice, and there's a seven point five percent there. Sometimes it just has to be done, doesn't it? So liking this, definitely worth, definitely for me, uh, a craft beer, but an introduction into craft beers. You know, um, most session beers are really they're a good introduction to a stronger world. And this is this is a you know it is a good introduction. Still slightly hazy, doesn't bother me. Um, hazy or clear, as long as it tastes nice, and that it does. Oh, good twang of flavour. When you gulp a bit, really good twang. Oh. It's got some on it, that right? has some good taste. And with that, the review's over. Well, that didn't take long to drink. So yeah, 4.2%. All about the citrus, on notes in the taste. Good twang in the background. Interesting drink, nice sessionable beer. Nothing too strong. Yeah, nice for this time of night, about five o'clock, which is what it is now, round about. And uh, yeah, out of five then, for me, about 3.9%, 3.9%, 3.9 out of five, Jesus Christ, 4.2%, but yeah, 3.9, it was okay, um, it was just nice and sessionable, you know, something that you go to the pub and have a nice swift dip of one, 
you know, it's not one of your top 10 beers, but it doesn't need to be, does it? And that's, you know, it uh, does it do the job? Yes. Does it taste nice, smell nice? Yes. And that's, uh, that's what, the only thing you need to worry about. And that's it for this beer review. Short and sweet. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.